Thanks for joining us here at 4 o'clock. We start with a newly filed lawsuit against the OSSAA. Five metro private schools now challenging why they have to play larger schools in sports. So this rule requires private schools to move up classes depending on certain criteria, something private schools say is not safe for their athletes. Our Tevis Hillis has the details on the lawsuit filed today. It's a story you'll only see on 9. Tevis. Inside the halls of Bishop McGinnis, you'll find different state achievements, all labeled with different classifications from the OSSAA. It allows us to compete against, you know, all of the schools across the state. Uh, it puts our students in a situation where they um, can compete against, uh, you know, the best in their own particular class divisions and uh, creates a, just a, bar, a broader competitive atmosphere. David Morton, the principal and president of Bishop McGinnis, says being a part of the OSSAA has benefits, but says Rule 14 directly discriminates against private schools. The attorneys representing the five local private schools say that Rule 14 appears neutral on its face. If a school meets three of these four requirements. If the school can turn away students, if the school is within 15 miles of a 5A or 6A school, if fewer than 25% of students get free or reduced lunches, or if the enrollment has gone up by 50% over three years. Plus, if the school has continued success, they'll move up a class. The attorneys add it's impossible for public schools to ever fall under that category. Most recently, OSSAA removed the cap of how many classes a school can move up, allowing small schools to move to 6A for sports they continue to succeed in. Now you're competing against the largest schools in the state. Currently, Bishop McGinnis has 700 students, qualifying them for Class 4A. But because of Rule 14, they play football at 5A and soccer, swim, cheer, and golf all at 6A. Crossings Christian School is the size of other A schools, but competed in 5A this year. When you play a complete soccer match and you're subbing in students in or out, or you're, somebody gets injured and you have to bring another person in, we are at an extreme disadvantage. The private schools are also concerned about a coupling stipulation. If a team is successful, boys or girls, then both boys and girls teams, they move up. I think the lawsuit is needed. Opportunity to come to the table for a greater discussion uh, that would, I think, suit both private schools and public schools well. Earlier this year, the Attorney General sent the OSSAA a cease and desist letter when the board began discussing forming a new postseason bracket just for private schools. And I also reached out to the OSSAA for a statement, but did not hear back in time for this report. Live in the studio, Tavis Hillis, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.